What's the matter with you? Sorry. Take it easy while we run the rest of the trap. Calling me for Mike. I'm gonna get a watchdog and throw you out unless you stay closer to my cabin. You know that? Listen, you stay here till I get back. Last week. I thought you'd be coming up. We're already busy. That temple on Funeral Lanes looks pretty good. Soon. Good. I can let you have enough hands. Never saw the lake so high, Jim. Yeah. I guess I can let those South Fork ranchers have more water this season. Poor devils. And you got scorched out last summer. I'd like to help boil them. They're irrigating. How's the trapping been this season? Pretty good. I wish I'd have had this trap set yesterday. I might have caught Clint Beasley in it. He was up here snooping around with five or six of it told one of the boys he'd be up to see you today. I warned him to stay away from this place, start more trouble. You certainly had your trouble with the Beasleys. Please, brother, do your best. Doesn't make any difference, Jim. Never thought everybody around here knows that. See Beasley get those lakes. I had a lot of plans for them. See, I wonder where those two men are I sent up here. Must be somewheres around here working. We haven't started on that new floodgate they promised me. <laughs> I can see why. Get him, Come Big. Come on. That's it. Get the headlock. That's it. That's it. Come on, Big. Come on, boy. Where'd they get that mule? They brought it with them. It's Come on, Big. <laughs> Come on, Big. That's it. Come on, get that toe hold now. Shoulders. On your shoulders. Come on, Big. On whose shoulders? Get around. Around. They have nothing. Big, Big, you know. He's sagging. He's sagging. You, yeah. Oh, no, he ain't. Come on, Big. Big, you got him. He's up. He's up. He's up. No. Victor. Victor. It was not. Well, let me know who wins, Jim. I got one more trap to set. <laughs> Business. I haven't got anything that you can buy, Beasley. You're pretty stubborn, Gainer. I'm offering you a chance to get out with something in your pocket. I can take these water rights when the time comes, and you know it. You're not going to get away with anything that belongs to me. I'm not sure that you actually own anything. A jailbird has no property rights. I wouldn't, Beasley. I'm telling you for the last time, if you're smart, you let me have him. You heard him. He's decided to hang on to him. He can't. He's lost his rights as a citizen. Oh, a lot can happen in ten days. And going to happen. And when it does, don't forget. I offered to buy you out. What did you mean by ten days? 
The government cuts in proof title to his property by the first of the month. And I'm afraid I ain't going to be able to do that on account of that jail term. But you've had all this property for 20 years. Jim? I think I've got one. I'll turn over whatever rights I have to one of my family. He's... Well, Alice gets here tomorrow. She's going to make a home with me. That's great. Say, why don't you come up and have supper with us? Well, I don't know. I... I've got an idea you'll change your mind about women. Maybe. I'll have an extra plate sent on for you anyway. The trouble with you is you're afraid of Rodney. He can't hurt you. Yeah, but I... Oh. Why don't you stand your ground and look him in the eye? Well, I you see... Uh... Oh, you... Where are you going? Hey, we got to get to work. We got work to do. Mike. Jim Gaines is foreman with a Beasley crowd. Come on, get up there, Mike. Easiest be here. He'll be along. Light a fire. I am soaked to the hide. What's Beasley dragging us all the way up here for? I don't know. Well, it better be something important. I got something important enough for him when he gets here. Too late. Yeah? What do you mean by that? He sent for his niece. She's getting here tomorrow. You know what that means, don't you? No. Well, that's what he meant when he said that a lot of things could happen, eh? Hmm. He'll step aside, file in her name when the land office opens, providing she's living on the property, eh? I guess that's what he's figuring on doing. Yeah? Uh, and I figure she isn't going to get to the ranch. Is he going in town to meet her himself? No, he won't set foot off his own property. Hmm. And you have Jake go after her. I'll have my men waiting for them along Dry Lake. Now you get back to the ranch before Gator misses you. You know what it is I want done, don't you? Have that girl brought here. Come on, let's go. What do you always want to be jumping on people for? What do you think about Beasley's idea of seeing that gal? We've got to keep her off this ranch, ain't we? Yeah, I know, but... Well, how else are you going to do it? We're in this thing with Beasley now, and we've got to see it through. You and I are getting more out of this than any one of Beasley's own crowd. Well, we ought to. We're risking more. Mm, if Gay never thought we walked on the same side of the street as Beasley, well, he... we can afford to risk it. Did you finally pin Beasley down to that? We're getting a lower ranch. All he wants is the lakes. Everything set? Sure. Gaynor never even opened his mouth when I told him Jake was going into Cameron to meet the stage. A 
stage ought to be pulling into Cameron about now. Yeah, well, Jake will be there in plenty of time to meet it. I've been thinking it's a long while since I've seen my niece. Must have been before I come to work for you. That's over five years ago. That's right. Don't you think you better be making up that payroll? That's just what I came up to the house for. How did you find everything up around the lake, Jim? Going fine. Fred Dale's coming down in a few days. He is? I'd sure like to see him running the lower ranch, too. A lot of things would be different around here. Now, don't you start in complaining again, Matt. to meet me here. Well, he couldn't leave the ranch, but he's sending in for you. Oh. Oh, uh, oh this is Sheriff Blake, Miss Kenny. How do you do? Oh, yes. Ken is me, say. Yeah, I was just telling her that he couldn't get away to come in for her. He's sending in for you. <laughs> Everyone in town seems to know he's sending in for me. <laughs> We've all been looking forward to your arrival, Miss Kenny. There you are now. Oh. Ah, uh, here he is. Well, Jake. Well, here's your passenger all ready and waiting for you. There you are. And Jake, how's your boss? Just fine. Give him my regards, will you? Tell him I'll be dropping by in a day or two to see him. I will. Take good care of your little passenger, would you, Jake? I will. Goodbye, Miss Gailey. Goodbye. Goodbye. Take you the rest of the way. Are you all alone? The rest of the boys are right behind. Dale! Now, before you get all excited, I just saved you from being kidnapped. Kidnapped? What do you call what you just did? I don't believe you. Whether you believe it or not, you're going with me. I'm trying to help you and your uncle. No, you're not. I know who you are. You're probably one of the men who are trying to steal my uncle's water right. No, you're talking to the wrong fellow. Then why don't you take me to my uncle? I will, as soon as those men stop looking for no. you. No! <laughs> That's right. 
right. You'd better keep on exercising. Or you'll be shedding icicles before night. for this. I am, right now. It wasn't my fault, Clint. He had me fooled. I thought he was one of the gang. Yeah. Where's the old Kevin? Well, I don't know. Way back up in the mountains somewhere. Hmm. Jake, you go ahead and tell Gaynor that Brett Dale stole his niece. Go on. Okay. What's the good of doing that? Gaynor knows where Dale is. As soon as he hears about this, he'll go hot-footing it up there. So, you follow him. I'll pick you up later. Go ahead. Okay. Yes, but... Where is she? Brett Dale came along and grabbed her. Brett Dale? Yes. Scared the team into a run and snaked her right off the back seat. Well, I'll round up some of the hands. Hold on. If Brett Dale's got her, there must be some good reason. Fred saddle me up a horse. Fine. All right, Jake. Wrong. Ah, it didn't work. Brett Dale's got Gaynor's niece. And Gaynor's wife? What's going on? No. And he's not gonna be. You know where Dale's cabin is? Sure, up the head of Fish Canyon. Cut timber up that way last fall. You saddle a horse. You're taking me and Beasley up there. Where's Beasley? He's waiting for me. We were gonna follow Gaynor, but this is better. We'll get there ahead of him. Come inside and get yourself dried off. No. There's a wild animal out there. That cat won't hurt you. Cat, nothing. It's a mountain lion. Cats grow big up here. It's the mountain air. Take off your shoes and stockings. <coughs> you want me to do it? Hmm, I see. We'd better get an understanding. I don't like women, never have liked women, and never will. I'm not at all interested in your problems. Well?
Put your feet in. I won't do it. And it's too hot. No, it's just right. Now the other one. You're going to get yourself in a lot of trouble holding me here. I'll risk it. How many slices of bacon can you manage? None. You don't like bacon? What would you like? I don't want anything. Now, wait a minute. You think you can keep me away from my uncle's ranch until it's too late for me to help him? Yes, but listen, I... But you're not going to. Now, pick up that saddle and follow me. Keep away or I'll shoot. You can't fire that. It's locked. I'll kill you the next time. If you do, I'll spank you again. Oh. Lie down. He's all right. That's Mike, Betsy's husband. One of your tame cats? Mm-hmm. Maybe I'd better warn you. I've got three more outside. Are you going to let him stay in here? Oh, he won't do you any harm. That is, if you put your feet back in that hot water and stay quiet. Take off that wet skirt and put these things on. And Mike, you better turn your head. I'll fix supper while the lady changes. Well, get ready for bed. What? What did you say? I said it was time for you to go to bed. We turned in early up here. Where are you going? Outside. And leave me here alone? a better bodyguard than I am. He won't hurt you, as long as you don't try to get away. Good night. I think the cop is still hot.
That's the old place. Hey, there's his horse. He's gainer now. better go get the sheriff. The sheriff? Yeah. Tell him to bring along two or three deputies that he can trust. I suppose you know what you're doing. <laughs> exactly. I'll stay here and keep an eye on Dale. <laughs> you know, I don't suppose Jim Gaynor ever thought I'd be setting up with him the, the night he died. Huh? <laughs> Where do you think you're going, huh? So you want to get out and romp, huh? Well, well, get back in there. <laughs> get back in there, huh? I'll let you out. Ooh, say, you sound like you're in a bad humor today. Say, Betsy, you better start teaching your kids some manners. Well, it's the three little peas in a pod, huh? Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Mike, how does it feel to be a father? <laughs> You might like to see them. They belong to Mike and Betsy. I'm afraid they're too young for that. All right. Come on, get up with me. Come on in there, Bill. Huh? Oh, wait, come here, come here, come here. How did you hurt your hand? Oh, it's nothing, just a scratch. It took you long enough. Got here as quick as I could. Yeah. And where is he? Well, who did it? Doesn't matter who did it. You're going to arrest Brett Dale. Dale? He kidnapped Gainer's niece yesterday, didn't he? Yes, but you... Well, Gainer came here last night to take the girl home. Dale finished him. Understand? Or off. Throw Gaynor on your horse and take him into Cameron. Hmm. Guess it'll be his first visit there in five years. Come on, girl. <laughs> Come on, thank you. <laughs> if you get ready, I'll take you to your uncle's ranch now. Company. You're under arrest on murder. Murder? Who? Jim Gaynor. No. I'm sorry, Miss Gaynor. When did this happen? Last night, or uh, probably sometime early this morning. I haven't been off this place since yesterday afternoon. Well, you didn't have to be. 
was found just outside, stabbed in the back. If you've tried another killing, Beasley... None I... of your smart aleck talk. Well, Jim Ganey's been trying to get you off his property for a long time. There's always been trouble between them. And bringing his little niece here isn't going to help you any. All right, Sheriff. Come on. I don't know how much of this you believe, but this man has been fighting your uncle for years. Whatever you do, get to the Gaynor Ranch as quick as you can. Why, I'm sorry, Miss Gaynor, but I've only done just what your dear old Uncle Jim would, would want me to do. Now, I'm going to take you to my home where you'll be perfectly comfortable while I can get everything straightened out for you. Thank you. There. Now, I'll be waiting outside for you while you get ready. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that. All right, you better get back to the ranch and keep things running. When I get ready to move in, I'll let you know. Hey, sure, here. Look what I found. <laughs> You ought to pay the bounty on that one, Beasley. Yeah. Oh, uh, hold this. Are you ready, Miss Gaynor? I made you ride my horse. Pretty high up. Shall I help you, Miss Gainey? Yes. Yeah. Let's go. There you are. You're comfortable, are you, Miss Gainey? Yes. Yeah. Weren't the flowers beautiful at the funeral? Everybody in Cameron seemed to be there. That's Mr. Beasley's doing. He made everybody in town close up shop and go. Surprising to me, you're Clint, pitching in and making all the arrangements for Jim Gaynor's funeral. Especially when they've been such bitter enemies. Well, they, they weren't the best of friends, but Mr. Beasley wanted to give Gaynor a bang-up burial just the same. Will she be staying with you folks? Mr. Beasley hasn't said. She's just a young slip of a girl, ain't she? I didn't get a good look at her at the services. Uh, how is she taking it? Fair enough. She hasn't seen her uncle for a long time. Young folks aren't great hands. She's pretty. <laughs> oh, well, be kind of cheerful like having young people around the house. Hmm. I wouldn't give Clint Beasley the chance of hanging around a pretty young thing like her. If I'd worked my finger to the bones and, and been as long with him as you have, Kate Forney. Not at your time of life. Brett Dale's been convicted. Of murder? Yeah. They're gonna hang him tomorrow the next day. 
Nobody could ever make me believe that Brent Dale ever touched the boss. Beasley's just to put the screws on. Everything's set. You better hit on back to town. Tell him okay. Hey, Matt. Round up the boys. I want to talk to them. Hey, fellas! Our boys! Come on. Boys, there's a new bunch of hands coming out to work this ranch. I just got word from town, but it's none of my doings. That's all I got to say. I got my orders to let you all go. Pretty raw, Mulvey. We'll have to talk to Beasley about that. Since when has Beasley had to do with this ranch? He's acting for Gaynor's niece. She's stopping at his house. I don't believe it. I ain't interested in what you think. Get your stuff together and get off the place. What have I been telling you? Mulvey's in with Beasley and has been. Looks like it. They got Alice Gaynor hoodwinked and they're fixing to hang the only man she can turn to for help. I'm going into Cameron and get Brett Dale out of jail. How many's with me? Count me in. Me too. Now look, you two go in ahead of the rest of us. Beasley pretty near owns the town and there's bound to be shooting if any of the old hands from this ranch show up. Tell Dale we'll be there about midnight for him to be looking for us. Come on, boy. In my name. Don't you think it'd be much better if you took care of this yourself? Why, no, you can handle it. You know anybody can file on the ranch now. It's the same as new territory. Uh -huh. Well, I'll be living there tomorrow. Just see that you're first in line at that land office. I've been long enough getting hold of that ranch, and I'm not taking any chance of losing it now. Okay. Right. Oh, uh, hey, how's Brett Dale behaving? He ain't causing no trouble. Yeah, the boy. <laughs> there was a quick, decisive struggle in the failing dust. When the posse silently rode away, the gaunt figure of the outlaw dangled at the end of the rope, stark against the evening sky. Ah, the guy that wrote that didn't know nothing about a hanger. I wait until even for. Too late for supper. Go on. Let's see what happens anyway. Get away from that town. Brett was reading me a story. Learn to read yourself if you're going to be a deputy sheriff. Hey, when's Baby going to do something? I'm tired of hanging around waiting for that cutting problem. See that? I'm going to file that for Beasley in the morning. As soon as he gets control of the Gainer Lake, there'll be plenty of dough for me and you and everybody. Well, what about Gainer's me? He's taking care of her. She's staying right here in town with Mrs. Forney. Oh, that's fine. It'll be all right, my dear. It'll be all right. And I'll be at the ranch myself to welcome you to what I hope is going to be home for a long, long... Oh, uh, pardon me. Thank you. Come, my dear.
I'll see that you're taken out safely to the ranch in the morning. That will be fine, Mr. Beasley. <laughs> There you are. Oh, now, is there anything else I can do for you? No, thank you. You you and Mrs. Forney have been very kind. Oh, I, I don't want you to mention it. I'm glad to do it, Anthony. I know that, Mr. Beasley, but I don't want to impose on your hospitality any longer than necessary. Oh, not at all. <laughs> You're just like one of the family. <laughs> I... I'm coming to think of you that way. Oh, I mean, just like one of the family. Uh, you can go on making your home here. And just I like one of the family. Oh. Of course, I'll be good to you. Right? I thought you might enjoy some fruit, Miss Allen. Good night. Good night. Just two. Listen, Brett, Matt and the boys are coming to get you out tonight, about midnight. Good. You know where our Alice Gamer is? Sure. Beasley's house. You've got to get away from there as quick as you can. I'll figure a way. Tell Matt to see that she's on that ranch before he bothers about me, or anything else. Hey, you better beat it. Pull me up, Big. Hurry up, pull me up. Pull me up.
Take Frank away. Now, will you tell me who killed Jim Gaynor? Please, kill him. I have nothing to do with it. Please, kill him. Mike, have him come in here. Stay down. Hold it, Mike. Hold it down. I'll need this, too. No time for introductions. Oh, Brett Dale sent us. We gotta get you the ranch right away. It's his orders. He never meant it. Beasley's gonna try to grab the ranch in the morning. You don't mean I'm no good to you, neither. Will you come with us? Alice! Are you all right, Alice? You, you'll have to come down the ladder. Have her here. I'll help you. Clint, let her go. She don't want you. You're just blind crazy about it. All out of my way. No, I've taken care of you for 20 years. Well, you needn't count the last 19 of it. Clint! Oh, get Clint! Now listen to me. You know what you're here for, and you know what it means. Find that girl and bring her here. If you have to tear down every house in town. Now come on, get going. There's a gang on the way in to get Brett out of jail. Uh-huh. Let him come. We'll be ready for them. Come on, boy. Big boy. Yeah. Get on the other side of town. Grab yourself a horse if you can and meet the boys riding in from the ranch. And keep them coming. We'll try to take that buckboard. And if it doesn't work, We'll hold out as long as we can in the warehouse. Now get going. I don't know what to say to him. I do. But we'll have to wait till we get more time. Come on. Get under cover, boys. Try to be go around and back. You fellas get over there. We'll go around here. Reload this. There's a trap door up on that roof. Hex, get up there and blast him out. Red, you go to the tight entrance. And don't hurt that girl. against that door, and I'll cover the window.
I'm going to burn them out. Hey, Joe. You can do that. Go ahead, I'll cover you. Luke, pick up that torch. Got him now. Don't let me get away. Go ahead. We'll go over here. Come on with me. Little, take her out the back door. I'll draw that fire. I knew you'd make good someday. <laughs> Don't let your life rot. <laughs> 